I'm sweating so much and I need to pee. Hello, it's Tuesday, the 22nd of August. I currently am eating my little breakfast. I made a peanut butter toast just because I barely have anything at home right now. And obviously a coffee in my beautiful mug. And I'm getting ready. I'm meeting up with Katrin. We're having a little picnic day by the river, by the Danube. And I just came back from vacation, so I haven't seen her in almost two weeks now, I think, or another week and a half. And I got her some little trinkets. I got her a ceramic fake from an artist there, because we love fakes. And I wrote her a little letter, a little postcard I'm gonna give to her. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to get ready real quick. And yeah, I'm gonna finish my breakfast, and I need to pick up and be on my way. This is me right now. That's, that's what we're looking like. I have snacks and everything here and my bathing stuff here. And I forgot my headphones, but I'm trying not to care about it. Lately I've been really like, not angry, but I've been feeling really weird and guilty about having so much, te so much technology. And I wanna be a little more in the moment because I feel like my phone is taking so much time out of my day that I could use differently. For example, in the morning I grab my phone and I will stay in bed for 20-30 minutes before I really get up. And anytime I think about how it was before the phone, which I'm not saying the phone is bad, I think I already talked about this, I'm not saying the phone is bad, I, I think it's such an amazing advancement and it, it helps in a lot of ways. but. There are ways where, I think with social media, I think most of this is like about social media and ways where I try to distract myself with. It takes so much time in and I think I'm a lot more on social media, especially when I have so much time as in summer right now. We're going to be in reality now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't want to miss my train. Wait, I don't know when it's, let's, let's get into the train first. nothing like a cold shower after sweating so much today currently 
spooning some dark chocolate spread and today was really fun i felt like a little kiss that came like back from the pool or like spent the whole day by the pool eating snacks that's exactly how i felt i'm so tired right now it's seven i think it's seven something there were two old men like, and they kept talking to us and it was so cute like i think it's so cute how older people have this thing where they like talk to you about whatever is happening around you and then they like say something and start a conversation that's so interesting to me that we don't have that in our generation and it's it's so sad because i get really scared when strangers talk to me and at the same time i want to talk to strangers because it's so beautiful to share a moment with someone you don't know anything about and Catherine and i talk english to each other and the other man, he was he was sitting pretty close to us, so he heard us talk, and we talked in English. And he talked to us in English because he thought that we probably only speak English. And it was so cute. It was, it was so so cute. Like, that was so nice. I wish I wouldn't be so awkward around strangers sometimes. I think I want to go on a little walk right now. It's the sun is already setting, but I want to go on a little walk. I think and then probably head to bed. Picked some fresh rosemary from the garden. Eating ice cream for brunch, lunch, lunch, I don't know. I think I'll make an avocado, which is like an espresso shot with a scoop of vanilla ice cream inside because I've been, I've been loving these this summer. I have been obsessed with them. So, and it's a Sunday, like you gotta have an avocado. It's Sunday. It's like when people have wine because it's a weekend, I'll have an avocado. Because it's a Sunday. Avocado. I don't know how to pronounce it right. I feel like when I pronounce things in English, I immediately put like a little English accent on it. Like avocado. I'm pretty sure it's like avocado. Avocado? Is this? I don't want to sound rude or like disrespectful. I'm literally trying to, I'm literally trying to learn Italian. But yeah. Avocado. We're making coffee with ice cream. You get it. You get it. Let's do this. I'm embarrassing myself right now. We got the ice cream. We just scoop out some vanilla. One scoop of vanilla. And we put it in there. And put an espresso shot over. It's important to eat more ice cream while you wait. I don't make the rules. It's the last Sunday of August, I think. Yeah, it's the last Sunday of August. August feels like it's been going on forever, but at the same time, it feels like it's not long enough. We have something fun today. Um, Catherine and I have, are having a little stand at a flea market, at one of our favorite flea markets. I would say it's a very cool one. It's called Wilhelm West in Vienna. So like wild in the West, because it's the West side of Vienna. I'm very excited. I have a huge suitcase full of clothes. I have a tote bag with books. I have so much. I had to keep some things because otherwise I would be left with barely any clothes. I just had this really huge urge to sell everything I have or give away everything I have because I felt so crowded. Keeping my fingers crossed, a lot gets sold. I wanted to sell some art. I'll get ready because I don't have a lot of time while I talk but i wanted to sell some art as well i don't know i lost like all my inspiration i think at the sea i was very inspired last week obviously i i feel a lot of inspiration when i'm by the sea i also doodled a lot and sketched a lot of stuff there i didn't really bring like a lot of drawing utensils i didn't intend on drawing i just had my journal it was really really nice i felt so inspired and i don't know i feel like coming back and i have to find my motivation at home which is a lot harder than finding it in 
places you don't know. That's a process that takes time. I didn't want to push myself to do art if I obviously didn't feel like creating. So yeah, not selling any art today at the flea market. There will be other times, there will be other moments where I feel more ready. So I'm not going to try and push myself and I don't want to do art. I want to create because I love it and enjoy it. I'm gonna head to the flea market. It starts at 4 p.m., which is very unusual for flea markets, in my opinion. For me, they usually start at like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. But yeah, it starts at 4, goes till 9, 9 p.m. So, very excited. I don't think I've ever, like me, I've, I've stood at like flea market stands with my mom when I was younger, and that was a lot of fun. I never had a stand at a flea market. So yeah, I'm excited to have a little stand, have a good time with Catherine. You're gonna see her later. And yeah, that was a new angle by the way. I never put my phone there to film. I felt like it looked cool. I don't know. I need to get ready now. It's like I'm still wearing my pajamas. <laughs> I'm wearing my grandma's glasses <laughs> because I couldn't find mine and I was in such a rush to leave so I'm wearing my grandma's glasses currently on my way the suitcase weighs I think around 30 kilograms I feel so strong but at the same time I'm sweating Katrin is already there waiting for me I'm so glad when I'm there I'm sweating so much and I need to pee It's 9, ooh, it's 9 p.m. Almost 9 p.m. We're leaving now. I'm gonna show you what we have left. Almost all the books are left. Here's Katrin sorting through what she's gonna sell online. <laughs> Thank you. And she's giving me a balaclava. Perfect. Um, yeah, actually we sold a lot. We had stuff here, stuff here, and the two things. We sold a lot, I think. We'll pack up and I will probably see what I'll post on Vinted and sell on there, but yeah, I'll tell you more later. I cannot talk in front of people, so. Good morning. It's another flea market Sunday. I don't wanna have the energy right now to like get ready, but I won't, like I'm not even gonna, I can't. Because it's just, it's so cold and it was raining the whole morning. I do not want to leave my house. Like, I feel so sluggish today. I had a little mental breakdown yesterday night. <laughs> I wish I was the type of person that after a mental breakdown, I like get up and get my shit together and, I don't know, clean my room, get ready, do all the shenanigans. I'm not the type of person. It's September 3rd. So it's the first Sunday of September. I feel like with September, it's like summer is coming to an end. It's like, especially with the rainy, it's, rain has come and gone over the last few days since September started. It's gotten cold. I'm just going to a small flea market in a very close town here with my mom. It's just a fun thing we do. I love going to flea markets with her. When we, I was always with her when I was a kid when we participated at flea markets or when we went to some and I don't know, she, she's the reason I think I love them that much. I feel like those pants, they're linen, linen pants. I'm trying so hard to be a linen pants girl, but anytime I wear them, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. Is that, the, is that maybe the goal of linen pants? Is that like the, what linen pants do? Flea market day-ish, not, we're just walking for it. Flea market time. You have me wrapped around your finger, and I can't seem to breathe. Baby, let me breathe. Please don't be naive. You got me staying a little longer. Oh, you're so cute. 
Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, this would have gone really, really bad. Okay. I just got back and yes, we are in the kitchen because it's the only good lightning I can find right now. Because it's so dark, it started raining again, it's grey outside. I got some things before I'll show you. I didn't really get a lot for myself, but my mom and I found some things, so I thought I'll show you. This is the only thing I got for myself. I don't know the brand, it's Zizania, I think. I've never heard of it, but that's a sh like a long sleeve shirt. I really like like those little flower-ish looking things, petals. And I like the distressed look of it. I already tried it on. It's like, it, it's tight fitted, which I think it's, it's cute, I don't mind it. I like it. I think it's very cool. I got this hoodie for my brother. I did ask him if he wants it, but it's, I mean, I'm sure everyone knows the joke. It says Big Dick is back in town. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube. I'll try to be without that. I, I might not do it. And such a funny find, so yeah. Also got him a little zip up, which I don't know if I'll give it to my brother or my boyfriend. And it's like this grayish, greenish color. I really like it. I think it's I think it's really cool. So yeah, maybe it was a very big. And then my mom bought herself this white bigger sweater that's all i couldn't really find a lot it started raining and you know no one wanted to be there it was like pouring down at the end but currently um oh my god there are people outside i will end this vlog here i love you all i hope you enjoyed it i feel like i don't even know what i filmed over the past like two weeks or one and a half weeks have a good last few days of summer yourself if you could start to school, uni, whatever, college. Um, my brother's upstairs, you can hear him. Have a good start in the fall.